Not today, not tomorrow, but very soon, Bitcoin is going to blow past all time highs and make a run for $100,000. Michael Saylor explains why 100K Bitcoin is a sure thing. Listen. Well, I think a lot of this is just indicative of the popularity of Bitcoin as an asset class. It's, it's now the world's most popular investment asset. It's novel, it's digital, it's global, it's unique. And it's uncorrelated to traditional risk assets because it doesn't come with exposure to any given country, currency, company, quarterly result, product cycle, competitor, not to weather, not to war, not to an employee base or supply chain. And so that makes it a natural addition to the portfolio of a responsible investor. There's 10 years of pent up demand. People have been waiting for these ETFs. And, and finally, uh, mainstream investors are able to access Bitcoin. And I think that's what's driving the surge of capital in the asset class. And initially there was a rebalancing as people were moving capital between the futures market and the miners and microstrategy and the ETFs. But following that rebalancing, I think uh, the, uh, the assets found its footing. And now people are beginning to realize that there's 10 times as much demand for Bitcoin coming in through these ETFs as there is supply coming from the natural sellers who are the miners. Yeah, and of course we're gonna get the have, having event. A tsunami of capital is about to flow into the crypto industry. You have the possibility of getting richer than you ever imagined. We will look back at 2024 as an inflection point. Real crypto games releasing. Apple Vision Pro Gen 1 released. Housing unaffordable. Bitcoin getting boomer support. Big. I share with you quality crypto projects in the space. This is why you subscribe for daily crypto content. Any coin we talk about, you can buy, sell, or trade any of these crypto coins on today's list on Bybit Exchange. Make an account on Bybit, claim up to $30,000 worth of deposit bonuses. I like Bybit. I use them for buying, selling, and trading. Tell me what you think of my list in the comments. These projects I really like. It's so easy to ignore Ethereum, but personally, I think just like Bitcoin, Ethereum can make a crypto portfolio a lot stronger. And when you understand what's happening behind the scenes, how could you not be bullish? Ethereum supply on exchanges dropping incredibly sharply. Remember, Bitcoin's price ran up for a year straight on the ETF hype alone. With Ethereum, VanEck, ARK, Hashdex, BlackRock, Fidelity, Grayscale, Invesco have all filed for their spot Ethereum ETFs. Really interesting to see how these Ethereum ETFs are developing. ARK Invest has made two amendments to its proposed spot Ethereum ETF. They've moved from an in-kind redemption model to cash creation model. This is just like what we saw with Bitcoin. They've also added a staking feature. This would allow Ethereum to be staked and the trust would treat any staking rewards as income. Interesting. The rotation towards Ethereum may be closer than we think. Yeah, I think many people will be surprised by Ethereum this cycle again. It's the number two coin by market cap. It's likely to get a spot Ethereum ETF this year. No board of directors is going to think Ethereum is a super risky crypto play like they might think of Solana or Chainlink or certainly things as we go lower down coin market cap. Ethereum's collateral use is about to skyrocket with restaking and its upgrade coming this year. Ethereum's L2 ecosystem is flourishing and will allow for massive scalability plus app chains this year. So I guess the biggest takeaway is Ethereum is scarcer than ever. And if you think we're going to keep seeing demand for Ethereum, all time highs will come sooner than most expect. Very powerful people. Speaking of people, entities, groups, these are people much more powerful than even us here at Altcoin Daily. They are positioning Solana to be the crowned jewel of this cycle, one of the crown jewels. And why not? I think Solana is great. Solana has a lot to offer the cryptocurrency ecosystem, including good metrics. Solana is still doing well. As discussed, the chain going down was indeed bullish. 115 is the last major resistance to break and above it, I expect new highs. If you've ever played around in the Solana ecosystem, you understand how simple and easy it is. Even using their Phantom Wallet app as an example, this is 
such a cool feature and so easy to use in the Solana ecosystem. Phantom used to be a simple Solana wallet some time ago, but there have been quite some updates to the wallet since then. An exciting new feature that you should try on Phantom's mobile app, which is Camera Mint. It allows you to upload photos or videos and turn them into Solana NFTs. The process is cheap and quick, allowing you to mint NFTs in seconds for less than a dollar. Is it me? Or does Cardano kind of shine above the rest? Seems like Cardano does things a little differently. Like it or not, ADA is a major player in crypto. So Cardano makes our list for the reasons mentioned. Important to note though, they are using Polkadot's SDK. So not really doing things that differently. And then they're also using Cosmos's SDK. I like both those projects. They're also applying their own sidechain innovations. They're also using Mithril. They're also using Minotaur. It's interesting that Cardano is permeating every little nook and cranny of the crypto market, or much of it. And speaking of Polkadot, Polkadot makes our list today. I mean, Polkadot has a huge catalyst coming up, and it's changing for the better. Polkadot 2.0 starts in about two months, right in time with the Bitcoin halving. One thing that's a big change is that block space will be now sold in a flexible way with revenue being burned. So that's big right here. If you're mad at Polkadot for 2021 and being too inflationary, things are about to change. Next on our list, I want to add Tectum, the L1 smart contract blockchain, instant transactions and near free, a fully scalable solution for Bitcoin, among other chains. It's decentralized, it's off chain, it's private. You saw on our recent video of Tectum, we disclosed we bought some tokens. And there's a lot to like about the project. I like this video from Crypto Brief. Tectum has launched their amazing Layer 2 Bitcoin solution soft notes. Their blockchain boasts an impressive 1.3 million transactions per second. This is a walletless and decentralized network that offers instant transactions with low fees. Participants in the Tectum ecosystem also have staking options to take advantage of. Tectum released their native staking platform just one week ago, and there's already over 22 million worth of TET staked. So what are you waiting for? Go check out Tectum today. They did a TPS record test run, apparently. How many transactions per second? Apparently very successful. 6 million transactions in just 4.62 seconds, achieving an impressive throughput of 1.3 million TPS, and you can watch that live. And also, I like that they provide comprehensive information on things you would want to know if you want to stake your tet. If you're into privacy, in my opinion, this is one of the leaders in privacy in the space today. Particularly, I like that they have a multitude of different projects. Now, we've talked about Tommy before. I like Tommy. You know that we are Tommy ambassadors. Some people like the Tommy chain, the Tommy blockchain. It's a layer two scaling solution that enhances Ethereum's capabilities through cutting edge ZK technology, zero knowledge. Our mission extends beyond merely augmenting Ethereum's transaction capacity, uphold its fundamentals freedom with good UX and flexible. Some people like Tommy Pay, some people use this. Personally, I think their browser product is cool and of course their Tommy DNS name system. Like when it comes to privacy in the space today, what else is up there? Monero, Zcash, what else? Next up, we have to throw Chainlink on this list. There's so much going for Chainlink and most people don't even understand it. So in my continued attempt to understand Chainlink more myself, this really helped me understand why Chainlink is gonna be big. Hundreds of trillions of dollars, seven services, one platform, how Chainlink can power real world assets at scale. Tokenization is revolutionizing asset management, but simply creating tokens isn't enough. Tokens also need to move across blockchains, be purchasable in different currencies, and remain updated with key data. Only Chainlink provides all the services needed to unlock the full potential of tokenized real-world assets. Whether it's CCIP, moving tokens cross-chain, price feeds, supplying exchange rates for cross-currency purchases, proof of reserve, verifying the collateral backing on-chain assets, automation triggering transactions when specific events occur, functions keeping traditional systems and blockchains in sync. A blockchain abstraction layer, enabling enterprises to securely interact with any blockchain through one integration. Or DECO, providing proofs around identity data. 
The Chainlink platform is how tokenized real-world assets achieve mass adoption. The next era in finance is here. Next lower cap coin that I'm bullish on, full disclosure, we are investors in this. It's called AIT Protocol, world's first AI data infrastructure, providing Web3 AI solutions and creating millions of jobs with the train to earn model, fostering the growth and nurturing of startups that innovate Web3 with AI. I mean, there's a lot of things that I like about it. Cryptonic Bull sums up some here, has a unique product, has a big active community. AI is the hottest crypto narrative has some of the best partnerships, has a massive retail appeal, up to 80% staking rewards, has a great team behind it, big investors behind it, great announcements coming. AIT, put this on your radar. Time for me to go read some of your comments. Let me know what you think of this video. What do you think of my picks? My name is Aaron. Subscribe to our channel for daily videos on everything going on in the crypto market. See you tomorrow.